SpaceX says it will attempt to launch two Falcon 9 rockets six hours apart after delaying a mission that was scheduled to lift off on November 21. The weather at Cape Canaveral is expected to be poor, with just a 10% chance of favorable conditions. But SpaceX says it will still attempt to launch the Utelsat 10B communications satellite around 9.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, November 22, after delaying a November 21 attempt to allow for additional pre-flight checkouts. Only a few days prior, SpaceX indefinitely delayed a different Falcon 9 launch after apparently uncovering a problem during pre-launch testing. That problem was significant enough for SpaceX's West Coast drone ship to return to port, guaranteeing a multi-day delay. Despite back-to-back -back delays caused by apparent technical issues with two other Falcon 9 rockets, SpaceX's next Cargo Dragon resupply mission to the International Space Station remains on track to launch as early as 3.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 22. In the days prior, even Dragon's CRS-26 mission didn't escape and scathed. SpaceX discovered a small leak in the Dragon spacecraft earlier this month, forcing it to push the launch from November 21 to November 22. Before that, CRS-26 was delayed from November 18 to the 21st in the wake of Hurricane Nicole. Out of coincidence, the combination of the Hurricane, Dragon leak, and unspecified issues with UTELSAT 10BS rocket or payload have placed the launches just over six hours apart. 24 hours out, U.S. space launch Delta 45 predicts just a 10% chance of favorable conditions for CRS-26 and UTELSAT 10B. The odds that both launches will thread a different one in 10 needles 6 hours apart are not great. UTELSAT 10B has a backup window on November 23 with a 60% chance of favorable weather, while CRS-20 SIXS next opportunity is November 26. CRS-26 will launch several thousand pounds of food, water, supplies, and a third set of upgraded solar arrays to the International Space Station ISS. The mission will debut a new Falcon 9 booster, B-1076, and the fourth and final reusable Cargo Dragon 2 spacecraft, Capsule C-211. In an unusual first, UTELSAT-10B will be the third SpaceX launch this month to intentionally expend a Falcon booster as Falcon 9B-1049, the oldest in the fleet, flies its tenth and final mission. The well-worn booster's sacrifice will help boost the 5.5-ton UTELSAT-10B communications satellite into a higher transfer orbit than usual, likely shaving weeks off the orbit-raising process and allowing it to enter service sooner. SpaceX will still attempt to recover Falcon 9's payload fairing, nose cone, has more than a thousand kilometers downrange.